Hey guys, it's Yvette. Um, welcome to the channel. This is my very first time using my new camera, so we're going to have to see how this works. Um, hopefully it works well, because <laughs> uh, I do have a tutorial that I need to make for you, and I'm not going to talk about it too much now. I just know that that's coming up pretty soon, uh, probably within the next uh, week and a half you'll be seeing that. Um, so what I got in the mail yesterday is the Bramble Patch Box of Delights. It's a monthly um, monthly treat for quilters. And this actually comes from overseas. So it comes in a whole, um, you know, like overseas envelope and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, there's all the customs information that's on the side. So I've taken it out of that bag, but uh, have not opened the box yet. So... Let's get it open and see what's inside. Um, okay, so it looks like this when I open it up. And it says... Um, okay, here is your July 2018 box of delights. We hope you enjoy it. I'm sure I will. <laughs> what's in the box? Uh, well, let's not look at that. Okay, um, so, well, maybe we should look at that because... Okay, it, it's a surprise anyway. So let's let's see what it says. Love Me, Love Me Not by Lewis and Irene. There are eight fat eights. Okay. <laughs> um, it says, we love a Lewis and Irene collection, which I've never heard of Lewis and Irene. So, um, yeah, let's... I can't wait to see everything in there. Um, and when we saw Love Me, Love Me Not, we knew we wanted to share it with you. These sweet field mice and daisy designs bring back memories of lazy summer days making daisy chains and merge them with a soft modern palette of grays, greens, and yellows. Hey, JB, do you want to come up? You want to come up here? Say hello? Hey, Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean. I don't know where he went. Okay. Um, we hope you like them as much as we do. Number two. Oh, here he is. Oh, buddy. Say hi to everybody on the new camera. Yes, up there. Don't knock that one over, okay? <laughs> that wouldn't be fun. No, nope, wouldn't. Mama wouldn't like that. Um, okay, so there is a Love Me Cushion pattern. And... Uh, there is a Spray Time by Macauer, and I always say that wrong, I think. Um, spray Time by Macauer is 1 fat 16th. And then it says there's a, oh my goodness, I'm never going to be able to say these words, guys. There's a Bondo Web by, <laughs> oh my gosh. I really, I can't, I don't, I have not a clue how to pronounce this. It's a fusible web, and it was for, <clears throat> excuse me. It was formerly known as Vileen. I wish it still were because I can say that. Um, the closest it looks to me is like Vaseline, but it's really not. V-L-I-E-S-E-L-I-N-E. -E -E. Is it Vliseline? Vliseline? I don't know. I don't know. Bonda Web by Vliseline. That's how I'm going to say it. One pack, and it's a fusible web. That's all we need to know. Um, there are some wooden buttons inside. Oh, my gosh. There's wooden buttons. Um, and there's Mettler Silk Finish Cotton Thread. Awesome. Okay. I'm very excited. Okay. So, let's see what all this is. Um, I think this is the Love Me, Love Me Not on top. You guys, this is so cute. Oh, my goodness. And there's some buttons. Look at the buttons. This is testing out the camera here because I have no idea what it's going to focus on. I seriously don't. <laughs> and how long does it take to refocus back on me? That's what we're going to be learning here in this uh, video. Okay, so here is the first little fabric. And let's hope that this camera focuses in really well. And can you guys see all of that? Oh my gosh, they are cute as a bug. Is it refocusing fast? I don't know. We're going to have to see. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to tell because I'm pulling the um, the fabric away. And this is yellow um, with basically just some dots and then more yellow inside the white dot. It's just it's interesting. goes really well with that first print, though. And 
do do and oh my gosh look at this one you guys it's gray and it has the little mice I wonder is it the same as the first one except it's darker gray yep okay so it's just a darker gray but I like how um, it defines the the print really well like you can see those daisies just pop out with the darker gray in the back And then, oh my goodness, okay, we have these cute little mice with the daisies again, except look, it's it's different. Look how cute that is. Are they upside up? I think they're upside up, yeah. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. So cute. I'm trying to like keep my, <laughs> I, it probably doesn't matter that they're in the, actually they're sort of in the reverse order. Um, I, I really like this one. This one is really cute. Look, it's the green um, with the little dots. Actually, you know, I'm saying that they're little dots, but I can tell better in this green one that it's sort of like a little daisy head. It just doesn't have a stem. Oh my gosh, so cute. Um, okay, here's a really nice daisy. And it's sort of like got this blue and like little blue leaf design. That's really cute. I'm loving all these daisies, guys. That is really adorable. This looks like a different size somehow because it's like folding weird. How's that folding? I don't know, okay. <laughs> and this is like, um, it's sort of like a cream with like a yellow leaf print on it. And I guess these fabrics, they must be to use in a pattern. So I think that what it is, is it comes with a project. Um, and that's what you get like the pattern. And it looks like a pin cushion pattern. Um, or at least that's what it said. And then you could put the buttons on it. Ooh. It's just another button, guys. Same one, same kind. Just there are three buttons. Um, Okay, so this one has sort of a grayish blue background with the white daisies and the little green leaves. Very cute. Okie dokie. Those are the fat eighths. And then it looks like... Okay, so for the mouse applique, which must be part of this, they included this fat sixteenth of this soft gray color. It's it's like a mottled gray. It's really pretty. I think it's gonna be great for um, for a mouse, obviously. And then we have two small spools of thread. One's white and one's black. And actually, that's not black. It's uh, like a dark gray. I That's nice, that's nice. Could you even tell from the, I'm gonna pull the thing down. So you can see, that is really, really nice. Of course, I keep moving it. Is it focusing? I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> you guys, it's going to be a, lear a learning process here. There's a learning curve. Uh, and here's the white. But it's, it's sort of like a cream. Um, very nice. Very nice. Okay. Um, and here is that Bonda web. Um, it's, it must just be like a UK brand and so I don't know how to pronounce it because you know I'm like a lousy American <laughs> okay so Bonda web I can say that part um, okay and here is the um, the pattern it's a love me cushion and what is a look oh makes one 16 inch square cushion um wow okay so what are, what are they calling a cushion oh okay so they're saying that we will need wadding which i think is um we call it batting so 18 inch square piece of batting and one 16 inch square cushion pad I don't know what that means. What does cushion pad mean? 
I can just Google that. I will figure it out. Um, okay, so here's what it's going to look like when it's done. Uh, and they did send us like the little appliques. Um, so that's what it looks like. And hopefully that was focusing in. I have no idea. Because the little, let's try again, just to see. I can't really tell if it's focusing. I guess I'll be able to tell after I play this back and see what happens. Um, so anyways, that's really cute. And what are, I wonder where you would put the buttons. And then, what do you do with this? I hadn't the slightest idea, guys. But I tell you what, it's cute as a bug. Like, everything about this is, like, so cute. And it's a simple. It is simple. Um, hold up. What does this say? Okay, and it does tell you... What? Okay, wait, hold up, hold up. Cushion front and applique. Okay. I, I, I know that this is annoying to you guys that I'm just sitting here and reading, but I don't know what it's talking about. Stitch two rectangles together. I mean, to me, it looks like it's... It looks to me like cushion is supposed to mean pillow. I think, because... Then, because the, the way it looks in the back, where they're saying stitch two rectangles together, blah blah blah, and there's it's like open in the middle. It looks like cushion means pillow. So, okay, I get what it's saying. I'm pretty sure I get it. <laughs> um, okay, so there we go. We're making a pillow. I'm pretty sure. Uh, anyways, that's the Bramble Patch. It's my first one. And somebody turned me on to it. Honestly, guys, there are so many of you guys sending me so many great ideas that I couldn't possibly remember. Um, but that seems really great. Um, I'm excited about it. And I feel like there was something else I was going to say. Well, you know, I'm having one of those moments. I have a lot of those. Okay, well, that's it for today. <laughs> um, I will see you guys later. I have a little bit of cleaning up to do. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Have a great weekend. Bye.